across the Cape and across Massachusetts tonight for Yarmouth police officer Sean Gannon, killed yesterday in the line of duty. My heart is broken. My heart is seriously broken. You know, everybody loved him. Everybody loved him. Mike Sahagan, the vice president of the Yarmouth Police Foundation, just one of the many mourners that stopped by Gannon's cruiser tonight, which has since been turned into a living memorial. He did it all. You asked him to do something. You, know, you didn't even have to ask him. He was there. This should not have happened. He's got a, a beautiful wife. All day long, residents flocking to the Yarmouth Police Department to say prayers and offer well wishes for Gannon's brothers in blue. To lose one is like losing my own child and it's difficult. Those brothers putting their own grief aside to escort Gannon's body from the medical examiner's office to this funeral home in Hyannis. Friends of the 32 year old along with complete strangers lining the road to pay their respects. It's just it's just a bad thing. They had to serve him to protect us and somebody took their life. This tragedy forcing the community to come together to support the police department and Officer Gannon's family who are mourning the loss of a man that touched so many lives across the Cape and Massachusetts. I think about his wife. I pray for his family. I pray for our community. I pray for the police department. Now we've spent the day on the Cape. It's been truly amazing to hear how many people Officer Gannon touched and is only seven years on the force. Right now, funeral arrangements have not been finalized, but there is a candlelight vigil scheduled for 7 p.m. tomorrow night here at the police department.